begin by acknowledging we reside on land Creator gave to others, and gave others to. Our church building is on the unceded land of the Duwamish people. Whenever we gather, we hold a moment of silence to remember, to repent, to grieve, to invite spirit to show us the path toward a liberating, just, loving, and ecologically sustainable future for these lands we gather on and the people who belong to them. A poem by Cheryl Laurie. I just realized that in my imagination, the wilderness is always somewhere else, a foreign landscape I actively have to enter in the act of being faithful. Truthfully, the wilderness is always where I am, right now, and faith is the courage to stay with it when I'd rather pretend I am anywhere else. what was and what would be, Jeremiah inhabited exile as a sacred space to intentionally imagine what could become in the wake of what was. In the liminal space between all he had known and his world-changing ministry, Jesus inhabited the wilderness with intentionality, preparing to live toward liberating love. Today, we inhabit our liminality. Today, we embrace the wilderness. Today, we wait with intentionality. We light the Christ candle, remembering that Christ is with us in the liminal and in the wilderness. And we light the candle of intentionality, remembering our call to live toward liberating. 